Steve Mignani here at High Octane Classics in Auburn, Massachusetts with something special for you Mopar lovers out there, a 1970 Coronet RT convertible tribute. Now this car was originally born as a Coronet 500 convertible, one of only 924 built. And when you consider that 118,449 Coronets were built in 1970, each one with this crazy split loop front bumper, but again, 118,000 and change, but only 924 were Coronet 500 convertibles. It's a rare car unto itself. But with that said, it's been given the RT makeover and yes, they did build some Coronet, 5, Coronet RT convertibles, a uh, couple hundred at most, but this is well done. It has the correct RT slash Super B hood, uh, and these ducts, these scoops, you would swear are functional, but check it out. If you got the air grabber hood on these things, this didn't do anything. Instead, you had a flat hood with bolt-on scoops, which then fed the engine. But that said, all Coronet RTs and Super Bs got this classic hood, a 1970 one-year-only deal. And again, speaking of one-year-only, that was the one year, 1970, when the final version of this generation of Coronet came with these uh, double hoop grill bumper assemblies. I love them, they're polarizing. With the passage of time, these things have become an iconic Mopar thing. But again, back in 70, this were uncommon looking cars, but today they're wonderful. Now this does have the factory hood pins. We'll take them off very gently and take a look underneath and see what's going on. Now as an RT, we should see a 440 and coming right up. There we go. Yeah, there it is. It's a tall deck Mopar. Uh, it's a 440 of some type, has aluminum cylinder heads, Indy heads, good stuff. You know, Edelbrock aluminum heads are good, but Indy heads are a little more racy and uh, I dare say flow more air, bigger valves, bigger ports, so a nice touch. Massive single plane Indy intake manifold with a Holley four barrel. Uh, here's the pressure gauge here to make sure you've got the correct six and a half PSI at all times. Uh, serpentine belt driving the alternator. Aluminum water pump sheds a few pounds. Big tubing headers on this with large, I think there's almost a two inch prior, uh, diameter primary tube. <clears throat> so this exhaust system is totally able to uh, flow air uh, to keep up with those Indy cylinder heads. And um, good to see, you know, manual brakes on this one here. No problem with that. Less is more. Manual steering. And again, with these aluminum heads, this big wedge is not that heavy, which is pretty good news. You're going to get a workout, but that's what you want when you drive a muscle car. Uh, radiator is the correct style. Three core, nice and thick. I can feel it right here. This will do a great job with the shroud of cooling this big wedge. MSD billet aluminum distributor. And uh, nicely presented under the hood. Now keep in mind, this is a Coronet 500, not an RT, but that's okay. The car does not know the difference. And the price is, of course, also adjusted accordingly. Uh, the trim tag is here. We see E44, which tells us it was born a 318 car. Uh, but again, WP27. If this were an RT, we'd see WS27. And in the world of Super Bs, keep in mind, there was never a Super B convertible done, ever. So a Coronet RT, yeah. Coronet Super B convertible, never done. But that said, any old way, the car doesn't know the difference, and this would be a lot of fun to drive. Uh, inside, we'll take a peek, and there's the first year tough wheel right there. First year pistol grip four speed, and yes, this has the classic A833 Chrysler four speed manual transmission, and uh, just iconic stuff. Uh, it has a split bench seat with the high back buckets, again seen first in 1970. The buddy seat in the middle there, so you can get three across if you want. You know, you could put six people in this thing if you needed to. AM factory radio in place, and uh, the full gauge package is a tachometer in place, aftermarket, and of course down low, oil pressure, volts, and coolant. Uh, and something kind of cool underneath, <clears throat> sort of taking a page of the Max Wedge days, there are wing nuts attached to block offs for the dual exhaust system. So if you get out and get under, unscrew those puppies, you'll pick up, oh, another 10, 20 horsepower and a whole bunch of beautiful sounds at the cruise night. And being a convertible, some details on this that aren't seen on hardtops or coupes are things like 
these things here, these are little uh, gap fillers, you might say. When you close the doors, these things preload the door to help eliminate the shutters and rattles that come with a convertible. Additionally, on all Mopar convertibles, we have torque boxes. This thing right here, this structure right there, which is larger. It's a leaf spring bulkhead reinforcement, but that's seen only on convertibles and Hemi cars. But again, uh, Chrysler, they thought these cars out, so the engineering was um, beefed up when the roof came off. Now this one does have the Coronet RT tail stripe, and again, being an RT clone, uh, they call these the cars with the Bumblebee stripes, the Scat Pack Dodges. And you gotta love the uh, Go Wing on the trunk, Coronet RT tail fascia with the RT road and track logo, eight and three quarter rear axle. Good to see that underneath there. And it does have RT springs, six leaves on the left, five and two half leaves on the right. So uh, fully capable of harnessing the horsepower. Okay, key teeth up, Mopar style. Let's open the trunk and see what we have. Up she goes. And uh, the trunk floor is painted green inside. That's all correct. <clears throat> okay, the trunk floor has been replaced. That's good though, it's steel. All metal, a little discoloration, that's nothing. That's the usual stuff if you have a trunk mat, no problem. It is a reproduction trunk floor. It's not punched out for these uh, drains from the, um, the anti-rust dip tank when these things were being built way back when. But again, without the holes there, it's good. If you ask me, the rubber plugs don't admit liquid and moisture, so it's all good. But a, reproduce, a reproduction trunk floor, and that's fine, it's all metal. Uh, when the go-wing is added to a regular trunk, well, it's not so good unless you have the correct reinforcements. These are Chrysler items here, which prevent the deck lid skin from deforming because of the weight of the spoiler. So from front to rear, this is a tribute to Coronet RT convertible based again on a one of 900 and change built Coronet 500. But luckily the 318 is gone in its place, a four speed pistol grip, tall deck, big block with indie cylinder heads. So it's a nice example of a, of a tribute car to a very rare Mopar. And keep in mind, the car doesn't know the difference and it is priced accordingly. Uh, so High Octane Classics will sell you this car happily with uh, financing with as little as 10% down. They'll accept trades, late models, classics, and they will deliver to your place of work, your school, wherever you'd like. Now keep in mind, High Octane Classics is going on 12 years in business and they are looking for, for more qualified team members to join sales and service. And if you have some cars to sell, one or 50 High Octane Classics is always looking to replenish their inventory. So give them a call at 508-859-4515 if you'd like to maybe join the team or sell some of your cars to the High Octane Classics folks. And beyond that, to learn more about this 1970 Coronet RT Tribute, check it out at the High Octane Classics website.